Hello, my name is Peter Hill, and the first thing I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. Everyone's eyes closed? Trust me, guys. Okay, good. Now, imagine all of your favorite TV shows. So, I don't know, 30 Rock, Magic Kids Accounting, I don't know, whatever your favorite show is, imagine it. Now, think of your favorite gay character in those shows, or lesbian, or bisexual, or transgender, or any one sort. Think of them. Everybody got theirs? Okay, good. Open your eyes. Now, I'm going to guess exactly who you're thinking of. Yeah, I'm going to read some lines, so be scared. <laughs> so, say your favorite character is a gay guy. I'm guessing he's, you know, the sassy sidekick. The one to go shopping with, to dish about boys with, to talk snap with. Oh, he is just so fierce. <laughs> Is your favorite character a lesbian? Ah, uh, she's super masculine, she loves sports, she only wears flannels, she's one of the guys, you know? Is your favorite character bisexual? They don't know what they want, they're just, they're confused. Is your favorite character transgender? It's Laverne Cox more than black, though. It's pretty easy. So, why did I just read your mind right then? Well, that was your introduction into queer representation in the media. Yeah. So, what does that little word mean right there? Yes is a word that your grandparents probably use a little too often, and yes, it can be used as a slur, it's all about context. But no, I do not mean it in those ways. Queer is an umbrella term for everybody in the LGBTQIA community. Basically, anyone that isn't straight or cisgender, so that's gay, lesbian, trans, bisexual, agender, non-binary, aromantic, and so on and so forth. But since LGBTQIA plus is super duper long and I unfortunately have a time limit, I will just say queer from now on. So I was sitting in class a few days ago, my teacher asked me, hey Peter, what are you talking about for your TED talk? So of course I said, oh, LGBTQ representation in the media. And this guy who sits in front of me, but I've literally never talked to in my life, he whips around and he says, what is that? So I assume he's asking me about representation in the media. So I start to my whole spiel about it, and then he stops and says, no. What is LGBT? And I was shocked, he literally didn't know what LGBT stood for. But that got me thinking, if he doesn't know, how many other people don't know? How many people are simply unaware that the queer community exists? So this brings me to my first point, visibility. Actually seeing queer people. Around 10 years ago, queer characters only accounted for a little over 1% of characters on TV. Now, 32 out of the 813 broadcast series regulars identify as queer, which comes to around 4%. 4%, that is it. That is 4 out of 100 people. So if this was a TV show right now, only 4 of you would identify as queer. This might be like a shot in the dark, I don't know. I'm guessing a little more than 4 of you are queer. I don't know, hang on. You're just super wrong. I don't know. No wonder he didn't know what LGBT stood for. The biggest lie told about the queer community is that it simply does not exist. Well, it does. And it's huge, and it's everywhere. So why isn't it being represented in the media? We are in the age of media. We consume about 15 hours of media every single day. Why aren't we utilizing it? How is somebody supposed to be aware of something if they are never exposed to it? The first step is visibility. Let them know that we exist. Now don't get me wrong, queer representation has made amazing strides in the past 10 years. There are queer characters in popular shows like Scandal and Orange is the New Black and Faking It, among many, many more. But oftentimes there is a big problem in how we are represented. Stereotypes. Far too often queer characters act according to stereotypes. You know, like the gay guy loves shopping and he's super flamboyant and the lesbian loves sports. There should not be a prescribed list of characteristics for a character to be queer. The queer community is just as diverse as everyone else. Some gay men love shopping, some hate it. Some are super flamboyant, some are literally turtles, some lesbians <laughs> love sports, some hate sports. You cannot categorize an entire person's personality based on their sexuality or gender. That would be like me saying, oh yeah, I heard all straight people love peanut butter. Like it's the weirdest thing, like they go to these peanut butter parties and they slap the peanut butter and they can't stop eating peanut butter. It is so weird, straight people are so weird. See how stupid that sounded? That sounded really stupid. And that's how stupid you sound when you say something like, I'm going to get all the game on my fruity drinks. Like, it's science. <laughs> so, what does perpetuating these stereotypes from media lead to? Well, it leads to the commodification of the queer community. So, what is that? It is your token gay friend. 
It is your GBF. And for those of you who don't know what that stands for, it stands for gay best friend. It is putting the gay before the friend because the fact that they are gay is more important than the fact that they are your friend. It is Teen Vogue publishing an article saying the newest, that the newest fashion accessory is a GBF. Commodification turns a queer community from people into objects. Objects that solely exist to satisfy the needs of others. Well, I'm here to say queer people are not objects. So media, stop objectifying them. Show queer people for what they really are. People, people with hopes and people with dreams. People who sometimes can't get out of bed in the morning. People with really big dogs and people with really small dogs. People who work in the cubicle next to you. Well, why does this matter, you might say. <laughs> not yet, not yet. <laughs> might say, I am comfortable as a straight cisgender person. I don't even know a queer person. This does not affect me. Well, chances are you know a queer person. Well, actually, you do. This guy right here. <laughs> so now it's time. That is me, middle school. Yeah, no, I'm not the bunny on the right. I am the stallion on the left. Yeah, and now I'm going to get rid of this image because, oh my god, it is awful. Yeah, that's gone. Okay. So for all kids growing up, you have to do a lot of self-discovery. And while well, most kids were discovering that they really liked basketball or they were really good at dance, I was discovering that I was gay, which really sucked because middle schools are not exactly the most accepting when it comes to sexuality and gender. If you want to test this, just go to the middle school lunchroom and see how long it takes for some seventh grade dude to go, ha ha, bro, they so gay. No homo. It is so stupid. <laughs> And it was a word that meant stupid, or wrong, or bad, and that really got to me. It made me feel like my existence was inherently wrong. I didn't see a happy ending for myself because a happy ending was never shown to me. There were no fairy tales about two princes. I had no openly gay classmates. I didn't even know a gay person. There were no TV shows about gay kids. I was completely and utterly alone. And when you're alone, you don't exactly see a point in living. I tried to kill myself, just like many other queer teens. Queer teens are two to three times more likely to attempt suicide than other teens, and one out of every three suicides that actually result in death are due to a crisis in sexual identity. Luckily, I wasn't successful, and I'm still here, but I cannot say the same for many other queer teens. Queer people hate themselves for something that they cannot change. Through media, they are told that they are abnormal and alone. They are told that they need to act a certain way in order to be queer enough. They are either turned into objects or condemned to hell. That is not okay. Something needs to change. Show more queer characters on TV. Normalize the queer community. Show trans, non-binary, agender, asexual, because according to TV, they do not exist. Show queer people as people because that's exactly what we are and we are not going anywhere. So in the words of Queer Nation, we're here, we're queer, get used to it. Thank you.